A lot of businesses use ClickUp to manage their projects and Dubsado to manage their business. Now, it can be intimidating when talking about connecting these apps. So in this video, we'll break down how to glue Dubsado to ClickUp in order to connect your data, but also automate repetitive tasks like client onboarding, feedback, and project updates. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com. And we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your Dubsado to your ClickUp. We'll first look at creating a project in ClickUp when a client has finished onboarding in Dubsado. Then we'll look at creating a project in Dubsado when an action occurs in ClickUp. If you aren't aware, Dubsado, here I'm in the dashboard, is a business management tool for client interactions, invoicing, and contracts all in the one place. It's a great experience for service-based businesses and consultants and freelancers looking to simplify their admin tasks and better manage their client journey. Whereas ClickUp is a well-known project management tool that brings your tasks, timelines, and team into one place. But integrated with Dubsado, it lets service-based businesses unify their client and project management, which cuts down on manual tasks and keeps your client communication smooth from the start. Today, we'll be using Zapier to set up an automation, but you can use Make.com, Pipedream, and other automation tools to set this same flow up. Firstly, you want to create a Zapier account. So go ahead, do that. It's free. And then come back and follow me. Here we are in the Zapier dashboard. Now, we want to create an automated workflow, which is referred to as a Zap. So in the top left corner, we'll select Create, then select Zap. Now, what Zapier does really well is it offers an AI assistant co-pilot. We're able to prompt this AI to create our automated workflow for us. Then all we need to do is plug in our accounts. So let's ask it when a Dubsado contract is signed, then create a ClickUp project task. And we'll enter. We can see it's working its magic on the left providing a suggested automated workflow. It is a bit of a wait, but it's definitely worth it. Here we go. We've got contract signed in Dubsado, create task in ClickUp. Straight away, all we need to do is select add all steps to Zap and then connect our accounts. But let's look at how we would set this up manually. It's quick as well and super easy. So don't be intimidated. We'll just close the co-pilot. Now in every single automated workflow, you have a trigger event. In this instance, it's when a contract is signed. So basically, when a client signs our contract in Dubsado, we want to create a new task in ClickUp, whether that be onboarding or the project phase one, whatever it is, or kickoff launch. We just want this to happen. So we're going to select the trigger event. Then we'll need to search for our app. Now, Zapier has a huge list of apps available. So if you want to connect your other tools, jump on and have a look. We're going to search for Dubsado. Oops, if we can spell it correctly. There we go. So we'll select that and then we'll need to connect our account. Now, some apps within Zapier differ. Some are a super easy connection. Some you need to obtain something called an API key. Basically, what this is, is a key to the door that allows Dubsado and ClickUp to share data between the two. So over here, we'll want to ensure that Dubsado is selected. It is. Then we've got the trigger event, which is going to be a contract signed in Dubsado. Then we need to connect our account. So select sign in or just click on the app. And here we'll see Dubsado actually wants us to give our API key. So we'll need to generate a token, but this is super easy. Jump into your Dubsado account. Here we can see it's just a starting account. I've got a bunch of dummy data in there, not a lot. Then from here, you want to go to the top right and select settings. Then on the left, we'll notice integrations. Here, Dubsado offers some native integrations with QuickBooks and Xero. But if you want to connect Dubsado with any other app, you'll have to use Zapier. So we want to generate an API token. And that's what this is. Select generate tokens, then create a new token or generate a new token. Here we can see we've generated the token, which is going to be our Zapier connection. I'm going to delete this after the video. Make sure you don't share your API key with anyone. We're just going to copy that. And we're going to jump back into Zapier, the connection window, actually. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste the API key, then select yes, continue to Dubsado. And we'll just need to authorize the connection. Nope, straight away, we'll be able to select. There we go. There is my connected account. So from here, we'll want to click continue and then test this trigger. Now, 
Usually you'll need to run some dummy steps within your Dubsado account or whatever app you're connecting so that Zapier can understand how that data is structured. Here we can see no contract found. So I'll just quickly jump into Dubsado and then create a contract for this example. Okay, so I created a contract in Dubsado and then signed it because that's the trigger event, a signed contract. So before we jump into Zapier and look at setting up the rest of the automated workflow, I just quickly want to show you something cool in ClickUp. So if we jump into ClickUp and create a client onboarding task, if we can spell it right, client onboarding task, then we open this bad boy up. What we can do is we can set up this task with set recurring tasks for onboarding, specific descriptions, and similar tasks. Then we can create a template of our client onboarding task so that every time a new client comes in for onboarding, we have the same tasks ready. We don't have to manually create those tasks. So let's jump over to Zapier and test the contract coming through, then set up a new task in ClickUp. So we've got the contract signed. Let's test that trigger event. Find new records. I tested it earlier. So we've got a contract and here we can see the data has come through. What have we got? The project title, all the information that would exist within Dubsado that we can then share with ClickUp. So we'll continue with that record there and we're on to the next step, which is connecting our ClickUp account and creating an action in ClickUp. So search for ClickUp. And again, you'll need to connect your account, but it's much easier than Dubsado. You don't have to grab an API key. It's just a simple login and authorize. So once you've connected ClickUp, you'll need to select the action event. Here we can archive or delete a task. Now we want to, firstly, we're going to do a multi-step automated workflow. We'll create a folder for each individual client, then create the tasks within that. So we'll select create a folder, continue. And now we need to configure what workspace is this in? This will be in my company one, the space, I'll select projects and the folder name. Whoop, this is what I mentioned earlier. So we have templates here. So I haven't created any templates for folders, but I have for tasks. So we'll close that. We don't need to include it. It's optional. And the folder name will be, we'll just pull the client company name over. So we're pulling the data directly from Dubsado to create a folder in ClickUp. And we'll continue. We'll want to test a step to ensure that the data correctly connects. So if we test this, we should be able to see a success and jump into our ClickUp. Let's jump out of templates. And we'll go to projects. Here we can see that it has created the folder, digital LTD, and automatically created a list as well. But let's create a task. So back to Zapier, add a new step to our automated workflow. Again, this is going to be ClickUp. You won't need to reconnect, only one connection for your Zapier account. The action event will be create task. Then we'll need to select our workspace. Again, that's going to be my company one. The space, that's going to be projects. Next, we'll need to select the folder that we create the task in. And we just created a folder for this very step. So you want to select folder and you'll notice that it only has static options. Folders that already exist within your ClickUp space, workspace, wherever you're doing this in. What you want to do is select the icon to the right and then choose custom. This allows you to do a lot more with your data. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the folder in from this second step here in our automated workflow and tell Zapier, hey, create this task in the folder you just created. So we'll select that step there, create folder. And all we need to do is select the folder ID. And ta-da, magically, automatically, it's going to create the task in the folder it just created. Now we can select list. I'll just do this quickly for mere example to get through it and the task name. What we can now do is select the template we created earlier for onboarding the client. So what happens? We'll just quickly create the task name using the, the contract signed, the client's company name, and we'll say onboarding. So when someone signs the contract, that's the launch, the AOK, -OK, for our team to start onboarding. 
it will automatically create a folder in ClickUp for our team to track and manage the onboarding project and create a task with those template subtasks and more. Now, we've taken a look at how you can connect Dubsado to ClickUp. I will say at the end of this, you'll want to test your automated workflow to make sure everything's working. So we'll click test step once again. Then once you've had a success, you've jumped into ClickUp or whatever app you're using to double check that that has worked. If we just quickly jump into folders, we should see in list the digital LTD onboarding. I just need to format that correctly. But we'll also notice that those subtasks we created in the template are existing, saving time. But once that is done, you want to select publish. Okay. So we have looked at automating tasks in ClickUp when things happen in Dubsado. But what about vice versa? What about creating a project in Dubsado when something occurs in ClickUp? Back in the Zapier dashboard, we're going to jump over to Zaps. Here we go. And this is where you can control and manage and track all of your automated workflows. We'll notice the workflow we just created. We never actually gave it a name. So just right click here and select rename. Then we'll select the Dubsado ClickUp Client Onboarding Project and save. But let's look at creating a project in Dubsado when something happens in ClickUp. We'll select create or we could select create here. Then we'll create a zap. This time we're going to lean on Copilot to quickly get this done. Let's say create a project in Dubsado when a task status is updated in ClickUp. And we can see Copilot working its magic once again as we wait for it to create the template. Here we go. You can automate the creation of a Dubsado project whenever a task is updated. So let's add all these steps into our zap. And now it's a simple process of plugging in our workspaces, spaces, and the data we want to use. So here we've got task changes. Let's double check that that's the best option. Task changes. Yep. That's probably the best to go with. So we'll select continue. We'll select again our workspace, my company one. We'll need to select the space. Let's go again with projects. And then the folder, we're just going to select that one we created, digital LTD. What changed? Well, the list as well. Now, this is optional. We can condense our search and our selection to a specific list. Now, this is getting specific. You don't actually need to select the list, the folder, the space, because all tasks are run within the workspace. But we'll continue with list. What changed? It's the status. So when the status changed to done or completed, I want this automated workflow or the zap to launch. I want to create something in Dubsado, a project. Basically, the automated workflow I'm looking at creating is when a ClickUp client has finished or a ClickUp project is over, we create a project in Dubsado to send an email with a feedback form. So let's look at it. We've got the complete status type we won't need to worry about. It should be able to pull some data straight through, but no task has been found. So let's jump into ClickUp, quickly run a test task update, and then jump back in. Okay, so we completed the task that we automatically created before, and we're going to test this trigger again to hopefully pull through that data. Waiting for it to load. Okay, so it successfully pulled through the data. Now it has moved us directly onto the next step, which is creating a project in Dubsado. We'll just quickly jump back to ClickUp, look at that test data, and we can see it's the task that we automatically created earlier in the video. Let's jump into the second step, and we'll want to select the project workflow. So let's go back into Dubsado, and we'll select workflows up the top here. Now I haven't created any workflows in my Dubsado account, but basically, Imagine it itself as an automated workflow. When a client does something, then automatically Dubsado sends them an email with a feedback form or a intake questionnaire. So a workflow in Dubsado allows you to automate your client nurturing and communication. Here we can see this workflow, the sample workflow. I haven't created any. It'll send an email inquiry response immediately after all previous actions are completed, create a review, send form sample package, send form sample intake questionnaire. And at the end here, we've got send email clients. Thank you immediately after all previous actions. But I want a simple workflow. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to create a workflow that just sends the email after the ClickUp project has been completed. Okay, so I created a workflow and I titled it ClickUp Feedback. All it does is when it's activated, the client will receive an email with a feedback form. Currently, I have the intake questionnaire, but it's the same process. So we've created this workflow. Then we want to jump back into Zapier. So we've got the project workflow we'll need to select. If you can't see the value here, you're able to refresh the search results. And here we can see the ClickUp feedback form. So we'll select that. The project location, we'll leave that blank. We don't need to include these things, but feel free to do so if you want to. Country, the alternate contact, first name, I'll just say myself. Um, this is if they can't get in contact with the manager or the person they're working with. The project status, we'll say this is a job, no status. Title, we'll need to include the title, so we'll pull in the task name from ClickUp. Start day, we'll leave that and the client email. Now, you should have a field in your ClickUp that also tracks your client emails, task creator. There we go. And then hit continue. All you'll need to do next is test the step. Ensure that Dubsado has created a workflow. So let's test this. Waiting for that. And we can see it's been a success. So if we jump into Dubsado and then we take a look at our projects here we can see we've got the new project there for the workflow and it's as easy as that you can use tools like zapier or make to set up these automated workflows and as we saw setting them up isn't that hard and you don't have to be completely tech savvy now if you need help setting up automated workflows don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com our team of experts are offering a 30 minute free consultation so book yours today